hey guys uh, this video is an update on the technical analysis of gold and uh, nasdaq so i made a video about gold uh, so it's just going to be an update on what's on what is going on and how we can um, go about managing our trades so here was uh, here is our uh, position or our current move at the uh, at this point in time so we can see that uh, the price tried uh, to 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 come back to this level here which is indicated with this uh with this uh rectangle here it tried to come back uh fortunately it was able to be supported and it went all the way up and so the buyers were able to check the price here just as they did before in this era and it is moving all the way up and so as you can see that there's this error which is indicated let me just uh clarify it on uh the hard time frame so you can see that this range here or this resistance that is indicated with this area you can see that it has been uh tested multiple times before because the market has been moving in a range and it broke out and it came back in the range again so it was highlighted before however at this current position i'm not expecting um this level to reverse the price however i'm expecting the level to just kind of give the price a correction or to pause the price so meaning it can happen that at the moment price can come back and then start to slow down go all the, go all the way down and then resume again its entire move now, so that's what i'm expecting however we cannot be fixed on that uh mindset we are expecting anything from the price moreover what you should pay attention into make sure that the price we want to make sure that the price doesn't come all the way down to this area we want to make sure that the price doesn't come all the way down to this area it should reverse somewhere in the middle or somewhere in this level here so somewhere in this level here so we're expecting a corrective to come and bounce all the way here and then go all the way up and if it bounces all the way here that's where maybe people who are scaling in you can scale in your trades now, however if it goes all the way down and uh come to this level again this will be a sign that no the sellers might be using this level as a form of uh, their main resistance, meaning trying to push the price all the way down and preventing the price to go all the way up in that high or above that high. So we are expecting that uh, those two things that, okay, price is, is, is surely likely to pause here. And looking at the fact that this uh, impulsive wave have prolonged uh, for quite some time. So we are expecting a corrective wave. And when the corrective wave, let it not puzzle you when it comes. Ne? Let it not puzzle you. Just make sure that... Uh, you have everything set and make sure that you are managing your trades properly. Don't uh, open multiple position or don't uh, use big alert sizes because that's what's going to affect you when the corrective comes. But if your risk is managed well, the corrective comes and you will not be uh, you will not be moved. Ne? So we are expecting the corrective to come and uh, it is the corrective wave that's going to decide and we scale in our trades, meaning uh, we, 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 we double our trades. Even when we double our trades, we don't double them uh hugely we double them with uh, risk management in mind né? and also it's gonna uh it's gonna tell us if we have to be very very uh, aware or if we have to really open our eyes if it fails to reverse here because if it fails to reverse somewhere here or somewhere above this area if it fails to reverse somewhere above this area then that will tell us that okay the sellers they are coming stronger and which is something that we're not expecting now so i hope uh that is clearly making sense so let me go to uh nasdaq so here we are on us nas 100 uh the trade of this analysis is kind of on its early stages and there's something interesting that this level is is getting broken uh, which is uh, some good confirmation that, okay, indeed, the sellers can be coming in with the breakout of this level. Now, however, as we are trading this move, make sure that you keep it in mind that in the hard time frame, this is a move inside a, 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 an uptrend. Now, this is a move inside an uptrend. So, which means that this, what we are trading here, is for now a corrective uh, wave. Now, it is not an impulsive until it breaks this area. So when the price comes down and break that area and then start to go down, then we're going to treat it as now a beginning of a downtrend. But for now, it is still an uptrend. Price is still going up. Why? Because it having broken these two lows here, which are going to... Uh, 
which are our boundary or which are our limitation at this point in time. So already we do have this double top, né? which is a good sign of sellers coming in uh, if this is going to work. It's a good sign of sellers coming in. So we're going to wait for price to break this neckline. That's when we can say now it's a downtrend. However, we continue to sell here, but we sell with our eyes open. We sell with our eyes open, meaning we are we will be watching price as it is moving down. When it starts to slow down, that's why we have to cut ourselves and now uh, try to wait again for another good entry opportunity either on the buyers or on the sellers. So we're going to sell and we're going to watch the price as it, is go as it is going down. We are not expecting it to kind of like uh, take a huge turn. Né? So we're expecting it to push all the way down. Maybe it will turn somewhere here or it will break this out and then give us a beginning of a downtrend. So that's it, guys.